This is part two in the repair series for this generator. This is a 23 year old generator and normally starts pretty quickly because we run the gas out of the carburetor every year before we put it in storage. Well this year I decided not to start so in the first video we repaired the carburetor and after doing that we did a compression check because it still wouldn't start and we had zero compression. So in this video part two we're going to figure out the source of the uh, compression problem. Okay, with no compression at all, we know we got either a problem with the uh, valve seats or we have a issue with the head gasket. So we're going to pull the heads off and see what we get. Okay, since we're pulling the head off, we're going to go ahead and take the gas tank out of our way. It looks like cylinder head bolts are 13 millimeter. Yeah, I'm going to mark my bolts so that uh, I know which one's first, you know. The top of the head doesn't look too bad. I'm going to go ahead and take this gasket off and go get a new gasket. Looks like it was the blown head gasket was right here. You can see, you can see where all the carbon built up right here. And it's, we're going to get a new head gasket and put it on there. This is my personal generator. I know it was running well when it when it quit running. Uh, when I put this piston on top dead center, there's a little bit of play in the in the valves, but I think they're good because it was running good. Now when I seat this valve right here, it's pretty tight. And if we seat this other valve, it's a little bit loose, but that's, that's, I think it's fine. I don't think I need a lap of valves. This generator doesn't have much run time, even though it's 23 years old. And uh, <clears throat> it was running good when I, when I put it up. So I think what I had was a head gasket leak. And I'm going to go ahead and, uh, before I pull all these valves out and lap them and do that extra work, I'm going to go ahead and put the new uh, gasket on and see what we get. You need this gasket. It's number 272163S. Cleaned up the head. The head's in pretty good shape. Cleaned all this up, so we're just ready to put it back together. And we had one bolt that was longer than the rest of them. And it was the one by the exhaust port right here. We got the torque wrench set for uh, 165 inch pounds. That was what I could find on the, uh, on the internet. We're just going to start tarping them up.
And we're going to go ahead and do the compression test again. see what the compression comes up to. like we're getting 30 and that's not great so uh, we might have to lap these valves before we're all done. Before I could do other follow-up work on the low compression Hurricane Ida decided to hit there and I had to get the generator back together and I used it to power my home during the uh, eight days that we were out of electricity for Hurricane Ida. You can see it was running real well. So what I decided to do was do a series of pressure tests after the hurricane was completed to recheck the compression in the engine. The test is after I ran the engine for eight days because of the hurricane. And I ran the engine this day to warm it up and I ran it for about a half hour. Then I let it cool down for about six hours and did the pressure test. And instead of getting 30 pounds like we did on the first test, we ended up with about 40 pounds. After reading the service manual for this engine, the directions was to run the engine for five minutes to warm it up and then do the compression test. Doing it with that technique, we came up to 58 pounds. There is no published acceptable pressure in the manual, but what I could find on the internet from other people was anywhere from 60 to 65 pounds was acceptable. I think mine is still a little bit low and that's why I'm getting some hard start issues. But overall it ran well for the eight days and powered my home. In a future video I'll probably do a leak down test and see if there's additional issues with the valves or the rings. Thank you for watching my videos. I appreciate any comments below. Please uh, don't forget to like and subscribe if you'd like to see more videos. Thank you.